My name is Carsten. I'm one of the co-founders of Young ICT Explorers. It's such a wonderful event, the, the open-endedness of it all and the ideas and the excitement. When I saw it, I was just like, whoa, I want to do that. We don't prescribe what technologies you should use. We are not telling you what problems you should address. We leave this entirely to you. We want you to dream bigger. Today's been fantastic. The girls really got a lot out of sort of seeing what other kids are doing and what they're coming up with. It's been really fun to work as a team and to develop a project. ICT is becoming increasingly important. And with Young ICT Explorers, we are trying to get the children into thinking about how they can effectively utilize computers and information technology in solving problems. Our project is a robot that asks a toddler a color. And if the toddler puts the right color in front of the color sensor, then it will do a little dance. We went around asking different people at the school, asking about what they needed from the school, and we developed an app that could network all of their services together. It allows students to view their homework, their timetable, and their assessments all in one location. We built this from the ground up, we programmed it from scratch, and we developed all the graphics ourselves. You know, the skills that these students display at such a young age is just amazing. My project is a solar-powered MacBook Pro charger. It's environmentally friendly and quick and easy to use. This is the Nevis unmanned ground vehicle. It operates through Bluetooth. It has got about 100 metres range. It has wireless cameras and about $200 worth of sensors. Solarbot moves to get the most efficient amount of sun so you can get more power and more energy. Basically, we wanted to create a web browser that was designed specifically for use by students in schools. It's got an inbuilt note-taking program which allows you to take notes, save notes, export. It's got options to paraphrase and add bibliography references. When I was in school, we actually didn't use computers until year 12. So if you think of the difference between that and what the boys are doing now, it's quite amazing. The projects they are working on are really advanced. Our project is an anorexia awareness video. It creates awareness for um, the illness and educates people about what anorexia actually is. We have created Barrels of Monkeys, a project made from the software 2D design and was cut by the laser cutter. Our project is Biggle and it's vision impaired Google and it's for the blind so they can use the internet and the whole point is that it reads the results out to you rather than the user having to read it. Our project is called Envision. Envision is basically a system of neural networks and general algorithms designed to take input in the form of a business card and turn that into contact details. We were kind of really inspired by neural networks and um, we were doing kind of a lot of trying different stuff I guess. With our application what you can do is just take a, um, a picture of their business card and it will automatically be added as a contact for your Windows phone. ICT Explorers is a great, just a great opportunity for kids in school to explore their creativeness and it also rides them a little bit. And this first prize goes to... From a judge's perspective, today was a very challenging day. We had so many amazing projects, uh, lots of very innovative ideas, lots of creativity. Uh, lots of very challenging technical difficulties that the students have overcome. You sort of have to take each one on its own merit and there's just some amazing ideas out there. It's actually pretty exciting. <laughs> the best thing is, you know, whatever I did, I, I did out of curiosity, I did it out of, um, out of passion. I do see myself having a career in IT now that I have done this competition and it, I've never really thought about doing it and it's incredible. The kids love it and the, the depth of knowledge that they gain, the, um, the amount of work that they're prepared to do for 
something that they love doing um, is amazing and I, I would just recommend it to any teacher out there. It's been fantastic. We have had positive feedback from the teachers, uh, from the students. We've seen the happy faces here today and, and, and this, is, this is how we measure the success. I'm telling all the people I know because I've had so much fun this year and it's a great experience.